Hey, this is Jennifer Dean, and you're joining me today for a Pilates workout where we're using the TheraBand. So doing a mat workout with a little extra resistance using the band. I have this nice long piece, so quick little um, tip if you're gonna buy bands, don't buy the sets where you get like three different weights because they're way too short and they're usually much too heavy. So you can just buy on Amazon um, a roll of the TheraBand and then you can cut it to size. So out of the roll that I got, I probably cut three or four of these nice long ones and it gives me much more flexibility and um, you know a lot more options. The blue is a pretty nice kind of mid resistance as well. So I don't even know exactly what we're doing. We're gonna play together. I'm shooting for something that's gonna take us about 15 minutes. Lots of uh, spinal work and we're gonna try and tap into our body from every different direction. So let's get started. Just begin by hooking the band around the balls of the feet. Toes up, heels down. Don't choke it up too much. You don't want too much um, help right here. Elbows come into the body. I want you to sit really tall. And then from here, just start to round the spine, straighten the elbows. And you're going to roll down just towards the bra line or the tip of the shoulder blades. Hold. And then fold back up and give your elbows a little bit of a pull back behind you. And scoop and we're rolling down. And we're coming up. And we'll just do this one more time. Just kind of waking up that spine a little bit. Really articulating and engaging the abs. And roll all the way back up. Now from here, open the arms out to a cactus position and we're going to roll down again just till the arms straighten, hold it here. So once you go deeper into your abs and tuck the pelvis up towards the nose just a little bit. Shoulders stay down, pull the elbows out to the side and forward. I'm going to do this six more times and forward, exhale. So in Pilates, remember we exhale through the mouth to engage the abdominals, we inhale through the nose. I think we've got two more. And last one right here. And then reaching forward, holding here, and taking your time, roll all the way down onto your spine. Just walk those feet in, pull those knees into the chest. We still have the balls of the feet in the band, but we're gonna release some of the tension in our hands for the 100. So extend the legs up to the ceiling, and now start to just push your hands, hold the band between your thumb and forefinger, and push the hands down. Reach your fingers towards the end of the mat. So you have this real nice sense of resistance that's gonna engage through your triceps. Can you flatten your shoulder blades against your back and tuck your chin a little? Now push up into those feet, but ground down through the tailbone. From here, we're going to lift up. Now, it might be enough for you to keep your legs up to the ceiling. If you want a little bit more, you can extend your legs away. And I want you to think of pushing out into your feet a little as well. Flatten the abdominals and start to pump the arms. We breathe in and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. And out. Two, three, four, five, in. And out, two, three, just two more. Half the hundred today, because we're on a time limit. And in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, hold here. Pause, hinge the legs up, lower the head down. I want you to choke up through the band, keep your legs up to the ceiling. Now pull the elbows down onto the floor, and then slowly lift up. I might choke up a little bit more, actually. And just like a little row, we're gonna squeeze our upper arm down onto the mat, and pull it up. Readjust the shoulder blades as needed. So this one, you have to kind of think about the work. You have to think about keeping completely still through your shoulder blades and pulling both of the back of the arms at that tricep down into the floor, working through the backside body. Let's just do two more. Exhale. Little hamstring and calf stretch is nice. Last one. Good, and lift the arms up. We're gonna take the right foot out Put the right foot down and then just cross your bend over. And then from here, stretch the arms out to the side just a little bit. I'm going to keep my right knee bent but move the foot further away for a tree roll up. So you don't want too much tension, it'll make it kind of hard. We're going to kick that leg down about a quarter of the way, maybe halfway. Start to lift the chest up. Now we're working in opposition. So as you start to roll up through your spine, I want you to pull back through that band. So you're going to get that mid back, lats, rhomboids, engage your abdominals. Now find a lift, working through the thigh as well. And then you're coming all the way down, slowly, slowly moving away from that leg. Just to the shoulder blade, change your mind, roll back up and squeeze your fingers to the side and lengthen here. Flex the foot, coming forward. One more time, up we come. Hold it, yeah, and we're gonna go all the way down and take a nice little stretch. So just hinge that leg up, pull it in towards you. Breathe, 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 and other side. So foot goes into the band. And then 
we open the arms out to the side, we kick it down, one side might feel a little different, start to lift up, and, oh, this side's a little sticky on my body, pull back through the arms, lift and forward we go. Really engage the thigh on this extended leg, so that leg could hold itself up even if it, we didn't have the band around the foot. We're just gonna do one more time. Probably you feel some sensation there in between the mid-back in the deltoids at the side of the shoulders. Rolling down all the way this time, curling it up, pulling the leg in for a stretch. Ah, big breath, good. Let's take the band off, throw it to the side, we'll grab it again in a moment. Some reverse curls and roll overs. I might move down just a little bit. So from here, legs to the ceiling. If you've got tight hamstrings, I want you to make a diamond shape and bend the knees a little bit. Zip your inner thighs together, curve your pubic bone to your nose and lift your hips up about an inch and put them back onto the floor. Exhale up, inhale down again. Now this is a great option, you might just want to stay here. If you've got any neck issues, please stay here. Otherwise, keeping your eyes to the ceiling, you're going to pull the pelvis up towards the ribs, lift the hips, roll those legs over. We touch the floor, we separate, we flex the feet and we take our time as we roll down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone touches, you circle your legs down and together, keep the abdominals flat, hinge them up, and here we go, over, exhale. Little stretch, separate, flex the feet, gliding down through your spine. One more time, circling around, up we come, over we go, tap, and all the way down. Good, bend the knees, feet flat, keep the knees bent, lift the arms to the ceiling, and we're gonna roll up to seated. Little spine stretch. Grab your bands again, open your legs about mat's distance, Hold the band in front of your chest. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna stretch the arms straight out to the side, keeping nice long wrists. Reach forward again, round. Rolling up, stretch. Reaching forward, round. One more time. Nice long spine and a nice flex spine. Pause. I want you to tuck your abdominals up under your rib cage and really sit back into your sitting bones. But now reach further through your fingers. Breathe into the back of the side body. Engage your abs even more and start to flatten out your spine on the diagonal, lifting your fingers to the corner of the wall and the ceiling. Hold it here, lift your arms high up. I'm going to pull the elbows down. Tuck that band behind the head and reach up like a lat pull down. And reach for four. And up three. And up two. Up we go, last one. Reaching. Circle those arms. Pop the band down and out of the way. Pull forward. Open leg rocker. So holding, let's start holding behind the thighs. Take the knees to tabletop position and you're balancing behind your sitting bones. So you've got a little scooped pelvis. You can stay here if you can. If you've got the flexibility, you're gonna hold your ankles. I want you to tuck the chin slightly, roll back just to the tip of the shoulder blade, come on up and balance at the top. Lift the chest, roll back and up we come. And one more time. And pause, hold it right here. Now, if you're newer to Pilates, I want you to put one foot down. Otherwise, you bring those heels together, release your hands. We're gonna roll the spine down and up in a kind of a teaser. So we're rolling down, arms to the side, rolling up we go, reach. Curving down and up. Last one, down and up. Hold those legs, pull it up and fold. Good. So you can do that series again. Three open leg rockers, three teasers. If you'd like to come with me, we're going to put it together with a jackknife. So this is definitely a little bit more advanced. Take the option that works for you. So coming up, we're going to do one open leg rocker. Rock back, rock up, hold. Glue those legs together. Roll all the way down, put the head to the floor. Kick the legs over, roll over. Take the toes up to the ceiling. Lift out of your waist. Roll all the way down slowly. Kick those legs to 45. Come on up. Grab the feet two more times. Rock back. Roll up, pause, squeeze the legs, lift, rolling down arms, turning over, kick the legs to the ceiling, roll all the way down, up we come, hold those feet, lift the heart, one more time, back, together, roll, and over, legs up, spine down, oh that's tricky, up, balance and rest. Great, so we're gonna transition onto our bellies. Grab your band again. So we're rolling over and the band is just long at the top of the mat. You're gonna lay all the way down, glue your legs together, 
reach your arms forward, um, hands are wider than the shoulders. Keep your feet down, pull your abdominals up, straighten your legs as much as you can. Lift up the band, lift up the head, reach the band all the way back so it's touching your backside. Forward and lower. We circle it back, tuck in the ribs, forward and lower. For three. And two. And hold it back here and just take the arms straight out to the side, lift up those legs and we're going to squeeze the legs open and close for eight, seven, six. Keep your eyes down, your abs are lifted. You could always lower your head for three, two, one. Lower those legs down, mini rest. Take the band over your shoulder blades, then hook your hands under it. So your hands are down on the floor and you've got it between your thumb and your forefinger. Kneeling push-ups, we're going from the bottom. So I want you to pull up your abdominals and your pelvis and then push the mid back into the band and press up. And in one piece, claw all the way down. Abs up first, push up. And all the way down. Again. And if you would like, we could try to do this on our toes. We'll see how it goes. Power up those legs. Pull the pubic bone to the nose and up. Oh, that one's hard. And all the way down. One more time. Abs up. And hold. And all the way down. Toss the band out of the way. Come on up onto your forearms. Pull in your belly. Bring the heart forward. And we're just going to pull the heel to the butt. Kick, kick, kick. And switch. Kick, kick, kick. So this is your single leg kick. I'm getting a little lazy in my abs. So I really need to think about pulling up my ribs because I always like to pop out. And then squeeze the glute and the hamstring to bring the heel in towards the backside. So I feel a lot of work through the back of my leg in this move. I think my hamstrings are a little weaker. Let's just one more. And lower it all the way down. Good, open the legs a little wider, turn them out. Push the hands down. Now just lift the heart up. And I want you to super glue your hands onto the floor. Think of pulling the hands back, but they're stuck. You're trying to drag them towards you and then dragging the chest forward and get that traction through the upper back. If you would like more, come all the way up to straight arms. Let's look to one side and let's look to the other side. And come back through, lower all the way down. Brief child's rounding. I'm going to finish with a little bit of side work. So make sure you've got your band and hook it over the right foot. Come onto the left forearm. Spine is long. The leg is going to come straight out and you control how much tension you have about where you hold onto your band. I want you to push into the band, turn the toes slightly down towards the floor, so no toes up to ceiling, and we're just going to pulse it here. Nice little pulses. Visualize that you could snap the band because you're pushing into it so much. Now as you're pulsing, we'll do a little spine check. So the ribs are pulling up. We're engaged underneath our arm here. We're not hanging out watching TV here. So really pull up. A few more little pulses, reaching, reaching. Let's turn this into circles around. This is speed Pilates today. And around. And hold it here. And bend the knee. Come on up. We're going to kickstand that same leg out to the side. Hold the band. Lift it up. Push your pubic bone to me and pull your rib cage back a little bit. And then stretch into the band some and just bend to the side. Use your obliques. Come up. It does not have to be big. For three. And lift. Here's two. And lift. And one. And all the way up. One arm circle. Arms back. Arms forward, pop the band down, put the left hand to the floor, kick this leg up, hold it, reach overhead, look down, full stretch, and come on in, we'll do the other side. Left foot, band goes into around the left foot. Come on, down onto the right forearm, extend that leg, toes point slightly down, choke it up, start with the pulses, reaching out. So you don't have to move fast here at all. If you only do a few pulses, that's totally fine. Really think of how you could get that length, how you could pull in the abdominals as well. 
and then we went to circles, so around. And I'm moving from the top of my thigh bone, right in the hip socket. So everything else just moves in one piece. Reverse those circles. Hold it here, find the length. And come on down, we're coming up. Kick stand that leg out to the side. Band pulls overhead. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. And over we go. Now I forgot to tell you, if that's a little challenging, just bring your hands in front. And that's gonna give you a little bit more, um, a little less weight over your head. Two more. Last one. All the way up, one arm circle, we go back. We come forward, we pop the band down, right hand to the floor, left leg up. Find the length, look down, stretch, and come all the way down. Sit onto the left hip, little shell stretch here. Come on up, sit onto the right hip, shell stretch here. Come on up. Come on up to kneeling, hands behind the head. We're gonna rotate from side to side, spine twist. Exhale, 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 exhale. Actually, I wanna open my arms. Turn, turn, that feels better. One more each way. Hands down, tuck the toes, find a standing forward fold. Bend the knees deeply so you can rest your chest onto your thighs. Maybe interlace your elbows if that feels nice. Maybe take a little rock. And then from our belly, we're gonna to start to roll up. So press into the feet, stack the knees above the ankles, bring the dome of the pelvis above the knees, the ribs above the hips, the shoulders above the ribs, the head on top. Roll those shoulders back and down and you're all finished. I hope that you enjoyed today's very fast and flowing Pilates workout. Please leave a comment below telling me what you thought, anything else you would like to see. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, come on over to the website, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye for now.